Hello everyone, this is Kyrix, and uh, welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Emerald, the sixth run. Uh, I did a lot of grinding this time, and you may think I went a little overboard, since he was at level, what, 10, 12, and now he's level 20, but I promise you level 20 is what level he learned Spark at. And he also picked up Quick Attack. As you can see, Howl and Leer are both gone, and good riddance. I also took the opportunity to bump Crusader up to level 20, so he matches. I would have done the same for Eris, but she evolves at level 20, and I did not want to deny you the chance to see her evolve. So we're going to get into a quick battle. Oh, and uh, I would like to issue an apology to Lucagen. I doubt she saw it. I'm pretty sure she wasn't offended by my comment about the running back to the Pokemon Center all the time. But even still, I feel an apology is necessary for the simple fact that during that hour or so that I spent grinding, I must have gone, for the first half hour or so, I must have gone back to the Pokemon Center after every single battle, because Electifang just got that badly tore up. So it seems kind of bad for me to make the comment that she liked to heal after every trainer battle when here I am healing after every wild battle being a complete wuss. At least she waited for trainer battles where she would marathon through entire teams to do it. Me, I'm fighting a single Poochiana, getting my butt kicked and limping back to Nurse Joy. So my apologies. And... As I said, I absolutely love watching her LP. As a matter of fact, during the grinding session... Oh, that sounded so dirty. While I was training my Pokémon... Ooh. Here we go. Time to evolve into a Curlia. That's right, she's very happy. She finally gets to evolve, just like her friend. Come on, sweetie. Power up. Aw, isn't that adorable? Anyway, during the extended training montage, as I'm going to call it, I had Lucagen's blind run of Pokemon White running. So, I do watch her stuff. I love her stuff. And the others, you know? I watch a lot of Let's Players. I about to say, don't you dare tell me you went away. No, no, you owe me a rematch. You kill that fucking bird. I'm trying to keep the language under control, but I'm going to kill that fucking bird. <laughs> Goodbye, Wingo. And I realize that being two levels above him kind of kills it to an extent. Well, it's going to kill it to an extent, all right. But this is why I don't train these things. I could have been level 14 if he had learned it at 14. It absolutely devastated him with that same move. Ah, Slugma. Okay, that was your other Pokemon. Incidentally, Slugma was in the running for my choice of Fire-type. He didn't make it simply because, like I said, I have too many Ground and Rock types as it is. You know? And he's slow. I don't like that. But here, let's uh, Water Shot you. I could have Mud Shot it and got basically the same thing going, but... Well, that's not going to come into play. Because you see, I'm going to kill you, and then I'm going to swap out my Pokémon. And let the newly evolved Eris have a run at your uh, Gruvile. Yes, Gruvile. He won't stay out, so he won't go to bed. And yes, he will be massively leveled above the others, because the next gym, as I recall, is an Electric-type gym where Poseidon is going to troll the gym. Hey, I'm a water type, but you can't zap me. Is she sticking her butt out? Okay, I've got a bubble-butted uh, ballerina Pokemon. I guess that's okay. And that most certainly is not okay. I forbid you from doing that again. You're going to do it, but I forbid it. Don't do it! 
Yeah, now I'm suddenly reminded why I didn't win this fight. That's okay. I have a new friend, and he hates you. Get him, Electifang. Now, I don't think this is particularly effective, but let's give it a look anyway. Nope, it isn't. You have no idea how glad I am that this is a Pokémon that can't paralyze me. Because most of the Pokémon in this area are Electric-types, and all of them frickin' paralyze me every turn. I spent every last bit of money I had on Paralyze Heals and Super Potions for that exact reason. Hey, Meg. I beat you. And no, you can't have a rematch. I hereby veto your rematch clause. Give me a present! That's right, I do. Give me a present. Ooh. I will never use this, but thank you. Do you really have to rub that in my face? Go to bed. Go home. Pisses me off. Anyway. Yeah, these are what I've been dealing with this entire time. Oh, and uh, get used to Quick Attack. It will be a staple of my final move set for Electifang. Because it hits harder than Tackle, and unless they literally have a higher speed than me, or I'm paralyzed... Well, no, even if I'm paralyzed... But unless they have a higher speed than me, I'm guaranteed to hit first. Let's stumble right into this, shall we? Pokemaniac and uh, a biker, I'm guessing? Collector and guitarist. Well, guitarist is my second guess, but collector was not. My, what an interesting choice. And I'm more or less prepared to take them both out. Yeah, that didn't do nearly as much as I hoped it would because of the... Because Lombre's grass type protected him, but, uh... I've got enough. I've got enough mileage out of that, I think. Enough to finish off the next one, at least. That was the Rocker's Pokémon, by the way. Rockers have always tended towards Electric-type Pokémon. Whereas Collectors... Uh, I don't even remember. I don't know if they have a special type or not. But I know Pokémaniacs tended towards stuff like Fire-types and all. So I think. It's been a while. This one's tending towards... Uh, well, I would say Grass-types, but really... Those are the uh, the two alternates for Sapphire and, and uh, Ruby. And by alternates, I mean, like, uh, they'll have one Pokemon of a type, and then you can get it in one game and not the other. Like, red version had Oddish, blue version had Bellsprout. I think red had Growlithe and blue... no. Blue had, um... Vulpix, that kind of thing. Well, in this case... Um, Ruby had C dot, and Sapphire had Lotad. I think. And the only reason I'm sure of that is because I had Sapphire, and I never raised a C dot except in this game. Yeah, and for some reason, as I said, that I gave the laptop a gentle pat, you know, out of affection, like. As if the laptop housed the game that's in the GameCube. And there's another person that may or may not actually ever fight me again because of my battery being drained. We'll say one thing, those batteries last a long time. Ooh, another double battle. I didn't think you could double battle me from that far away. I, uh, I have learned something. I've learned something new. Thank you for giving me knowledge. I'd rather have a donut, but knowledge is good too. I'm getting this donut craving. Abras. Oh god. 
that is one thing. When I was training Crusader, he eventually got high enough level that he was fast enough to, to one-shot an Abra. Because that's the only way to beat an Abra is to freaking one-shot it unless it's been trained uh, with special moves. Okay, there is a chance this will not work because I think those things can levitate. But we'll see. Well, that just goes to show that Electifang is really fat. Oh, synchronized. Dang it. Nope. Doesn't levitate. Oh, Electifang level. When did that happen? Well, I guess now we'll never know if that Abra knows any special moves. Or if it's just a teleporter. I think Abra should know something other than teleport. I mean, it's fine if the wild ones teleport out of battle. But unless you have a TM, it's impossible to train an Abra without pulling the Magikarp swap method. I was literally just about to open the item box and de-paralyze my... You know what, forget it. You know what, I am so sick of fighting these things. I know you haven't seen me fight them, but you're not gonna. Because I've fought enough of these damn, damn little electro mice. And I've had, I've had it with that. This, by the way, is where the bike path lets off. And, uh... Before I do this... No... Oh, that's right, Eris passed out. I forgot. I haven't healed since then. But of course I forgot, because it was only like, what, three minutes ago? I have, I have a memory. I, I have a memory like a friggin' butterfly net. That you're trying to keep water in, for the purposes of this metaphor. Goodbye, Tentacool. Hello, experience. Ooh, Wilmer. God, that's not a whale, that's a freaking beach ball with fins. I really did also consider getting a uh, Whalmer, but like I said, the the whole thing of catching them, you know, I by the time I, I think you actually need Surf to even get to them, to where they are. And I'm on a six run, you know? So that's just not feasible. But uh, Electifang is gonna struggle for a little while. But late in the game, he's going to become a powerhouse because there are two constants in the first three generations of Pokemon. Water types and rock types. And Zubats. Zubats are constant in every fucking game. And there's the language again, and I apologize, but... Anyone who's played this game has the same reaction to Zubat. I'm sorry. Even if you train them, you get bored of them real fast. But, uh... There are always going to be water Pokemon once you start surfing. There are always going to be rock Pokemon because there's almost always a, a uh, victory road kind of situation where you run into a lot. Like, there's one in this. I used to train Electifang there, of all, of all things. Which is harder than it sounds, considering it's just full of Aggrons and Lairons and stuff like that. I think it has Aggrons. But, uh... Yeah, it would. It would save me the trouble of bumping into May. What it's referring to is, uh, you can... When you win contests, and when you fight a certain reporter, you will get on TV and they will get a, a stupid little two-word thing. You can't even enter the words, you just pick from a list. But a little two-word summary of your whole experiences, and that that will come on like a... Ah. Rock Smash. Oh, here we go. This is important. I need this, actually. 
But anyway, like I said, uh, anything that's strong against those, for example, Poseidon will be very powerful because I can just grind him on Victory Road. And Electifang will likewise be powerful because anytime I surf, he's going to be fighting. He has the chance to just destroy everything. Okay, this is a low power fighting type move, but one that I do need. So, um. No, I'm not going to wait. Uh, Poseidon, no, Poseidon's going to have too many HMs as it is. So this one's all Crusader. Yes. You will forget that you ever knew Tackle. Or no, you don't, you already don't know Tackle, okay. You are, oh, I don't really want to... You know what, you don't have ground in you, and I already have, uh... Poseidon for that. And this will work just as well on rock types, this is mostly what you're using it on anyway, so we're gonna go with that. Besides, there is a move tutor that I can get stuff... oh wait. Let's hit the Pokemon Center before I do this. Because Wally's gonna... Wally's, Wally's over there and he's gonna say, oh, I want to challenge the gym, and I think that's his uncle or something. He's like, no, Wally, you're not strong enough. You're too sick to fight the gym. It's like, oh, Kyrix, you and I, we're gonna have a Pokemon battle to prove my uncle wrong, that I'm good enough for this, and then I'm gonna beat his ass. Oh, well, I guess I'm not strong enough, and then I get to beat the gym when you're up. See? It was his uncle. See? I may have spots in the memories, but I pretty much narr narrated that entire thing. Oh, God. Oh, God, you're gonna make me feel like such an asshole. Come on, man. You have one Pokemon. One. And you're gonna... Okay. If it's any consolation, yeah. That's about what would have. That pretty much exactly what would have happened if you challenged that gym. That makes me feel kind of. I didn't even need to heal for that. Matter of fact, I'm not even gonna hit at the Pokemon Center. But um, do I get a gift? No. Give me a present. Please? Oh, here comes Scott again. Yeah, didn't hold anything back is one way to put it. You're cheering for me. You're cheering for a guy who beat the crap out of a much weaker Pokemon and crushed the dreams of a sick child. Dude, what is wrong with you? Hell, what's wrong with me? I'm the one that pulled the trigger. Anyway, um, we are going to call it here, and uh, we will begin the next video with the gym battle. So, this has been Kyrix. Let's play Pokemon Emerald, six Pokemon run, and um, see you next video.